So, for episode 300, I thought, rather than do anything sort of spectacular, I thought we'd just carry on in the, the vein we have been doing. This is Mission Impossible Operation Surma, and I played this game, well, easily 10 years ago, if not longer. I remember nothing about it whatsoever, um, other than this kind of heavy metal rendition of the Mission Impossible theme. <laughs> Uh, that looks good to me. It's... Well, it's difficult, isn't it? It's going possible. That's the default. We've got to go for that. So this game was built by Paradigm Entertainment, who were, I think, a first party at THQ, or THQ owned them. But they've been around since the 90s. Uh, were closed in 2008. But they did quite a astonishing amount of stuff. Like they did Pilot Wings '64, um, and the game I know them from is Stuntman, Stuntman Ignition for Xbox 360, PS3, which is a game I actually I quite like. Uh, I took some of the Stuntman ideas and kind of made it into a an easier to get your head around game that wasn't quite as brutally difficult and had better load times. So, yes, Paradigm Entertainment developed. Atari published, came out for Xbox, PS2 in 2003, December 2003, so really late, and then GameCube the following year, and there's a Game Boy Advance version as well, which was developed by somebody else. So I'm going into this completely blind, like I say, I played quite a, quite a decent amount of this, just probably because it said Mission Impossible on it, and I, like I said in that last video, I quite like Mission Impossible. This is a tall order, isn't it? I mean, episode 100 was Garfield 2. Episode 200 was that History Channel battle for the Pacific. There was nothing to compete, so... This is decent looking uh, CG, though. <laughs> it's about 14 pixels wide on my screen, though. I always enjoy <laughs> a game that has to make a likeness that looks a little bit like Tom Cruise, but not enough that they can get sued. What the hell is that thing? Oh, okay. It's a Google Glass! Remember those? I'm sure you're familiar with the man you're about to see. His name is Simon Algo, an ex-intelligence agent who recently seized control of the Balkan nation of Ugaria. It's widely believed that Algo's coup was the result of a brilliant disinformation campaign. A campaign that saw government officials jailed by the dozen for alleged ties to organized crime. Algo's network of spies is far-reaching and includes this man, Mikhail Marku, a veteran of the war in Bosnia and one of his most trusted advisors. This morning, we learned of Marku's desire to defect. In exchange for safe passage, he's agreed to provide us with a mini-disc cataloging Algo's worldwide covert operations which may include the theft of highly advanced weapons of mass destruction. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to make contact with Marku, obtain the mini-disc, and escort him safely from the grounds of the Ugarian Ministry of Information. As usual, you may pick your team as you see fit. At your disposal will be telemetry expert Luther Stickle, along with pilot and driver Billy Baird. Also joining you will be new agents Jasmine Curry and George Spelvin, 
Spelvin is a med school dropout turned actor whose deceptive skills are extraordinary. Curry graduated number one in her class at Quantico. She's raw, Ethan, but so were you once upon a time. I'm confident you'll make the grade. As always, should you or any member of your IM force be captured or killed, the secretary will disavow any knowledge of your actions. Good luck, Ethan. This briefing will self-destruct in five seconds. Oh, MIDI guitar. So Ugaria, that's a that's a thing. They just made up a country. And ironically, I just found out there is a list of fictional European countries Wikipedia entry that Ugaria is on. Which is interesting. Okay. I remember this. All right, Luther, I'm in. Where's the telecom box? There's a courtyard up ahead. You'll see it as you walk in. Hack it, and I'll have a peek around their system. That should get us inside. And that's not an impersonation of Ving Rhames. That is actual Ving Rhames. Badass. Climb as flat things as tall as he is. Press forward into such an object, like the walls below the statue, to make him climb up and out of the courtyard. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Uh, we've got to sort this camera out. Invert pitch. That's better. Crisis is dark. Looks pretty good, though. Hope you get. Press triangle to use interactive objects. L1 to begin walking in stealth mode. Perfect. So stealthy. Why is the music so quiet? Notice the stealth meter filled to indicate when he is totally hidden in shadow. Okay. All right. All is well. Right, let's go. Is there a guy behind here? Oh, there he is. Did you really need to tap him on the shoulder? Uh, hide this victim. Stand up, support press R2. Ethan. Make sure you hide the bodies. Security's tight in this area. Okay. No one will think to look in this shadowy area. Perfect. All is well. Oh. Uh, L1. What was that? Hey! Oh dear. Whoa! Ethan's hit. Abort. Repeat. Abort the mission. There is no mission. I'm dead. Please restart from the checkpoint. Right, we've seen this. Seen that. Ethan, make sure you hide the bodies. Security's tight in this area. Mm. 
Okay, so the guy comes in back in. From this end? Do we think I can take one of these guys out? Well, now what? Well. There was a guy out here. Oh. Wait. Let me move the. <laughs> Let me move the body. I don't want to move it to though, because I bet there's already guys coming around this way, isn't there? Might just have time. Let's go. Stealth. Let's walk in stealth mode. More fun. and hold triangle. Good work, Ethan. Data sniffers are up and running. I'm scanning files for subject's location. Stand by. Copy that. And how's our friend from Virginia doing? She make the drop yet? Uh, well, sort of. What do you mean, sort of? She thought she got made by a guard. She got a little skittish. She dropped the gear at the garbage dump instead of at the drop site. What? No, Ethan, it's okay. We'll get it out of there, don't worry. First in her class at Quantico, huh? Go easy, Ethan, she did the right thing. She all right? Yeah, she's coming in. Good, give her a monitor. Have her watch and learn. Will do. I'm routing the security camera feed through your remote camera viewer so you can get a look ahead. Done. Security on the door has been neutralized. But you'll need to finish the job on your end. Okay, select the RCV. Oh, Jesus, how many controls? So, do that. And then we do that, and then we do that. And this how I could change camera. There we go, R1. Okay, that's all very exciting, but... Right, so another press and hold triangle. the camera use the electronic warfare gun when the gun is equipped press square to enter aiming mode press R1 Jesus EWG square camera disabled A sonic imager gadget to look through closed doors to recon for hidden dangers. Yep, there's a guy there. Oh, do I have to press X on that? Or triangle? Uh, 
Okay. Oh dear. That went well. Do we have any shadowy areas for this guy? This is good enough. Poor guy. That firework sound effect. That door won't let me in. Walk under the ledge and press circle to jump up and grab it. Alright, okay. The fact the pipe is so... This is old school video game design where the pipe is a totally different colour than the rest of it so you can actually see it. Oops. Swung the camera around too much and changed direction. Can I sabotage that or is it just going to turn the alarm on? I'm in the academy courtyard and looking for my kit. Excellent. It should be near the dumpster ahead. Just keep an eye out for laser trip wires. Meantime, I'll make contact with Marku. Marku or Marceau? L2 to activate night vision, you'll clearly see them. They make a weird hummy noise. It's pleasant. Oh dear. Should have shot the camera. Uh, with my gun. There we go. Nice shot. Camera disabled. Yeah, you say nice shot, but I missed it the first time. Hey, look, my bag. Where did he put that? Overhead pipes can be reached by using the micro cord. Equip it. Jesus. Micro cord. So most of this game is press square to equip something and then press R1 to use it. Okay, can I... No, I cannot. Ooh. Pow! Do you see what I see? Looks like advanced communications equipment. I don't recall these things being on the schematics. That's because they're not on the schematics. They must have just built them. What do you think they are? Special data receiving stations of some kind. Snap a couple of photos. We'll send them back to the boys at HQ. Ah, okay, so I can choose the binoculars. Oh dear. Binoculars. Binox. Damn it. Come what the zoom button was. That photo's no good, Ethan. Try again. That's not it. Can't click the sticks. Okay, I'm going to just have to get closer then. Can that guy see me? Nope. I 
I'll stand right next to the fireworks. That seems like a good idea. Bingo. Nice work, Ethan. So do I need to get back up there again? It seems like a slow way to get back to where I need to be. Right, I need to be careful of the lasers. Oh, thank you. That mark who? Accessing the ministry database as we speak. In we in. Excellent. Where and when? Keep your shirt on, man. I'm typing as fast as I can. Come on. He's not responding, Ethan. He may not be at his computer. He's got to be at his computer. He contacted us. Wait. Here we go. He'll meet you on the observation deck, west side, 2100. You see? Patience, my friend. Don't you tell me about patience, Ethan. <laughs> They've turned Ethan Hunt into a dick. I don't... <laughs> where is the observation deck? Assuming that's where the orange triangle is pointing me. Record. Uh, that's not the one I want. And that hurt. <laughs> the corpse is still there. I need to grab that guy. That's the alarm. Where the, where the hell am I supposed to be going? Oh, there is a door there. It's right on the end. Because they wouldn't be telling me all this stuff about getting a guy to do the handprint for me. Cool. Marco, Mr. Hunt, your timing is impeccable. You have the disc? Of course. Show and tell. When I arrive safely in England, it will be yours. That wasn't the arrangement. I am afraid it is now. I am not exactly brimming with confidence, Mr. Hunt. All right, if that's the way you want it. But from here on out, I call the shots, you understand? I'm listening. I go first, you follow. Outside the Ministry, we make a left on Labienka and a right at the first alley. A white van will be waiting. Plate number YG1PRP3. Any questions? Good. Count of 20. 20. 
19, 18. Try tagging the informant with a non-lethal tracking chip shot from the EWG. Alright, do that. Surely he'll notice me doing that. This doesn't feel a great deal like Mission Impossible. Gotta say. Oh no! Uh oh. Echelon code red. Security breached. All personnel report to designated positions. There's an alarm shot off around here, wasn't there? I like the idea that. <laughs> If if the alarm only counts if it's been running for sixty seconds. Security restored. All personnel resume normal activity. Got all those Kelvin. Oh, Jesus Christ. Is that alarm control? God damn it. Can I jump over that? Nope. Attention. Alarm system activated. Intruder detected. Repeat. Intruder detected. Nah. Base alarm code green. Security restored. All personnel resume normal activity. Did it tell me the um if you do the courtyard and leave the area? So do I need another? Oh, for Christ's sake. I'll blame the contrast on the TV for that. I love the fact that they have separate boxes. Yes, it wants me to go that way. So, how am I going to get through those lasers? Even if I can't get through the lasers, I'm going to need a guard to um, activate the handprint. Unless so I can carry this guy. I'm not sure a corpse can do a handprint scanner. How much have they spent on fireworks? Why are they so low off the ground? When he exploded in like 15 feet in the air. Mm. 
No, I didn't. The guard did. Attention. Base alarm code red. Security breached. All personnel report to designated positions. Come on. Attention. Base alarm code green. Security restored. All How many alarms do they think? Activity. It's even worse. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. He didn't seem that bothered. Microcord? Is that something I can use here? I can use it here though. Here we go. Right, keep my feet up. Wrong button. Oh dear. Get the... Is it R1? L1. I knew I was missing something. It had to be some sort of gadget. I suppose in that sense it's kind of Mission Impossibly. Impossibly? Impossibly. Drop. Get your feet down. Ah. Okay. So. Wait, shoot the barrels. Ah, these barrels. Did I hear a noise? Or was that my imagination? My ears deceive me. <laughs> Wasn't quite a stealth kill. Ooh. I need to shoot that camera pretty quick. Shit. Attention. Alarm system activated. Intruder detected. That camera is officially blind. Intruder detected. Uh, is there a alarm control anywhere near? Spend too much of this game just staring at a green screen. It's like Splinter Cell. Oh, I was going to climb over those bloody lasers again. Intruder apprehended. Intruder, Intruder apprehended. Jesus Christ. Most ambitious bloody um, <laughs> security. Oh, the alarm's gone off. We must have sorted the problem. Here we go. Good, we get to watch this again. <laughs> this isn't bad, it's just maybe not the most exciting thing I've ever played. Alright, drop. Camera's blind. So now I get to turn the lasers off. We get all the Kelvins. Hooray! Hopefully let's turn these lasers off up here. Is he going to be able to do the, the door? Because I can't. Neither can this corpse. Hey, it works. Let's take him with us. Okay. That was a surprisingly long mission. I mean, granted, a decent chunk of that was me being an idiot, but... It's more slow-paced than I remember. But if I remember rightly, the slow stealth stuff is actually better than the fast action stuff. 
Oh yeah. It's like a WWE version of the Mission Impossible theme. Break his arms. Then take him for a swim in the river. Joke's on you, he's got really strong legs. Try hand-to-hand -hand combat. I've, I've already uh, tried it a couple of times. No, stay down. Still give me tutorial stuff. Ethan. Ethan, do you read? What's going on out there? Marku is dead. What? How? Shot on the street as we were walking out. What about the disc? Got it, but I've got company. Jesus, Luther, how did this happen? They must have compromised our system. There's no other way they could have known we were coming. You guys better get in here, now. We're on our way. All right. I think that is Mission Impossible Operation Surma. A slow-paced game. I, it's actually not as bad as I remember it. That being said, I barely remember anything about it. Um, but it still looks half decent for the era when this came out. Um, and it still plays all right. There's just a lot of buttons. I suppose if you're trying to clone, is this a clone of Splinter Cell? I suppose it's kind of getting into that realm, but uh, yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. But uh, that is episode 300. Jesus Christ, how did we make it that far? I don't understand how that happened. But uh, yeah, if you watched even one episode, cheers for watching. Here's to uh, episode 301. It'll be a blast, I'm sure. Ooh.